Today we have brought you a number of updates. Tesla pushes new Model 3 standard range plus orders to 2022. Tesla Giga Texas receives fresh IDRA shipment. Tesla aims to start Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin in October, and Tesla has started exporting huge lot of Model Ys to Europe. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla pushes new Model 3 standard range plus orders to 2022. Tesla has updated its online configurator to push the delivery timeline for new Model 3 standard range plus orders all the way to January 2022. However, Tesla's online configurator shows that the Model 3 long range still has a November 2021 delivery timeline, while the Model 3 performance can be delivered as fast as 4 to 7 weeks. It's one of the largest discrepancies between variants of the same model we have seen to date. Tesla has had strong demand in the US, which could explain the extraordinarily long delivery timeline. But Tesla also has had significant supply chain issues, especially related to the chip shortage. It makes sense for the automaker to prioritize more expensive versions of the Model 3 when it comes to new orders. Tesla could be sending more chips and microchips to those vehicles. As for the Model Y, the long-range version also has a significant delivery timeline of December 2021 for new orders, while Model Y performance can be delivered on the same timeline as the Model 3 performance. US demand has been very strong for Tesla this year, and the automaker does indeed have some significant supply chain issues, as Elon Musk has confirmed in the past. To keep up with such a strong demand, Tesla is working hard on its Gigafactory Texas. News have arrived from Giga Texas recently that it has received a fresh IDRA shipment. A massive IDRA shipment was delivered to Tesla's Gigafactory Texas site recently. The arrival of another IDRA shipment suggests that Giga Texas may be setting up a new Giga Press soon, possibly for a new production line. The singular IDRA box was recently spotted in a drone video of Giga Texas. Based on past videos and pictures of Tesla's Texas factory, Giga presses for the front cast and rear cast of the Model Y were already installed in the facility. And if recent reports are correct, Model Y test production has begun in Giga Texas. The recent Giga Press box could then contain parts for another 6,000 ton Giga Press that is used for the Model Y production line. Tesla aims to start Model Y production before the end of the year, so getting all the machines installed and the assembly lines in order right now would make sense. However, Tesla may already have its initial Model Y assembly lines ready to go, which seems more likely given its production goals. If that is the case, the latest IDRA box could contain parts for the Cybertruck's 8,000-ton Giga Press. During the last earnings call, Tesla shared that the Cybertruck would be moving into its beta phases later this year. Recently, Tesla patents for the Cybertruck were released as well, hinting at some design changes in the electric pickup truck, which support the company's update during the last earnings call. Yeah, the Cybertruck is currently in its alpha stages. We finished basic engineering the architecture of the vehicle. With the Cybertruck, we're redefining how a vehicle is being made," shared Lars Moravi, vice president of vehicle engineering, during the second quarter earnings call. As Elon said, it carries much of the structural pack and large casting designs of the Model Y, being built in Berlin and Austin. Obviously, those take priority over the Cybertruck, but we are moving into the beta phases of Cybertruck later this year, and we will be looking to ramp that in production and take it to Texas after Model Y is up and going," Moravi elaborated. Moving to the next update, Tesla aims to start Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin in October. Elon Musk says that Tesla is aiming to start Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin in October, which is when the company hopes to get the final government approval. Tesla has had some issues navigating German bureaucracy in bringing its Gigafactory Berlin project to production. The automaker planned to start production of the Model Y at the factory in July, but it has experienced delays. Most recently, Tesla has said that it plans to start production by the end of the year. 
during a tour of the site with Armin Laschet, Germany's Conservative Party candidate, to succeed Angela Merkel as Chancellor, CEO Elon Musk said that the new target is October. Elon Musk has been complaining that German regulations have caused Tesla issues in getting the factory up and running. He advised that there should be regular reviews of regulations to evaluate their usefulness instead of accumulating them. Laschet appears to agree that the country has too many regulations. He commented during the tour of the factory, sometimes one has the impression that inventing something new is technologically easier than dismantling bureaucracy in Germany. Following the visit, Elon Musk also announced that Tesla will hold a county fair at the factory on October 9, around the time that they plan to start production. The first vehicle that Tesla plans to build at Gigafactory Berlin is the Model Y, and the vehicle is expected to feature an updated body with more megacasting parts and a structural battery pack. Elon Musk has previously said that the Model Y produced at the new factory will represent a manufacturing revolution in the auto industry. However, Tesla is shipping Model Y vehicles from China in the meantime, with the first deliveries expected next month. The next update we have today is coming from Europe. Tesla China exported 8,210 Model Y vehicles to Europe in July, starting off the third quarter strong. This is an impressive number as it corresponded to the first batch of Model Ys sent to Europe from the company's newly christened export hub. Besides its Model Y export stats, Tesla China also pointed out that its wholesale sales reached 32,968 units, resulting in a year-over-year -year increase of 199%. In July 2020, the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers reported that Tesla sold 11,041 vehicles, making the US-based company the leading electric car maker in the country. Last month, most of Tesla Giga Shanghai sent 24,347 vehicles abroad, which included 16,137 Model 3 units and 8,210 Model Y cars. Tesla China's export numbers would be interesting to watch as it continues to ship Model Y units to Europe. Elon Musk predicted that Model Y sales would eventually beat Model 3 sales. Giga Shanghai's future delivery numbers may reflect Elon Musk's predictions in the coming months. The Tesla CEO believes the Model Y could become the best-selling vehicle of any kind in the world by either next year or 2023. In both earnings calls this year, Elon Musk has mentioned the supply chain challenges Tesla still faces, making Giga Shanghai's numbers quite impressive. Tesla China claimed that Giga Shanghai is indispensable. Giga Shanghai's strong export numbers herald a positive outlook for the rest of this quarter and maybe even the next. Given its history, Tesla China will increase its Model Y exports over time and be instrumental in meeting Europe's demand for Tesla vehicles. Giga Shanghai reportedly reached an annualized vehicle production rate of 450,000 Model Y and Model 3 vehicles already. It may continue to increase its production rate in the coming months. With that in mind, Tesla is more likely to exceed its 2020 guidance to deliver 500,000 vehicles. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.